Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another tutorial video. And today we're going to be discussing uh, purchasing new equipment versus leasing versus, uh, versus buying uh, used. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the menu. We are going to have a look at the used equipment that's available. So currently we've got the Ross, Rostal Mash uh, Nova 330 at a 50% discount. So let's jump in there and have a look. So $37,356 to buy. So we are going to buy that. Right. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to find the exact same harvester and compare that to the new price. So the new price is uh, $75,000. So let's, um, let's buy that. Okay. And then we are going to lease the same harvester. And we're going to discuss the differences in pricing. So basically, if you want to lease in the, build, in the buy menu, you've got buy or lease option. So when you press lease, it'll tell you a base cost. Then it's got a per work day cost and then a per work hour cost. So the initial leasing fee is $385.25 for this particular vehicle. And basically what will happen is every day you have this machine in your possession, you'll pay $750. And every hour this machine works on its hour meter, you'll get charged $1,575. So let's go ahead and lease that. And we'll head over to the shop now. So here we've got our three, if I can get out of here. Nope. So they may be too close together for me to actually get out. There we go. So here we go. Three identical pieces of machinery. Uh, one purchased brand new, one leased, and one purchased used. So let's have a look and see if we can determine which one's which. So this is probably... So one thing I should point, it, point out to actually is, as well, is whenever you lease something, it's brand new. The only difference is you don't actually own it, okay? So they'll, have, they'll be in the exact same condition, uh, the only difference is one of them you own, one of them you don't. Pretty straightforward. Now, this is the used one. Now, the easy way we can tell this is used is because if you see in the bottom right-hand corner there where the uh, speedometer maintenance bar and fuel level is, is you can see 15.9 hours on the clock. So what that means is this vehicle has been operating for 15.9 hours. So I'm just going to move this forward just so we can differentiate. So that's why, it is, that's why it's considered used. Uh, so if we jump back into the used menu, obviously it's gone now because we've purchased it. So we're getting a discount, but it's also got some maintenance requirements and some age on it already. So that's one thing to consider. Now, if we jump into one of these, I'm just gonna move it back. So I believe this is the brand new one that we own, this is the leased one, and this is the used one, okay? Now if we jump into our uh, menu, come down to vehicle overview, we can see um, which one there. So we can see the details. So through identical machines, we've got the time um, signified by the time icon, time in months, sorry. Then we've got the hours with the hourglass. Uh, the level of maintenance required. The key is the leasing costs. And then the cash symbol is what it's actually worth if we were to sell that vehicle uh, as is currently. So obviously the lease vehicle we can't sell. The brand new one we can sell for 60000 and the used one we can sell for $18,604. So pretty straightforward so far. So where this becomes um, interesting is when we sleep for one day. So if we go into our money section and we look at february which is our current month we can see vehicle leasing costs of three thousand eight hundred and twenty five and new vehicle purchases of a hundred and twelve thousand three hundred fifty six so that considers new and used vehicles so essentially vehicles that you own and have paid outright for okay so let's go over to the sleep trigger and we're going to sleep for one day and we're going to see how much we've spent 
or how much we're likely to spend. So let's sleep in terms of vehicle leasing costs. So this is just the cost to, ho to hold that machine for one day. So we should get a notification on the top right hand corner on the leasing cost price. So $750 just to have, just to have this one here on our farm. Okay. Now if I was to drive this for an hour, which I won't because it'll take quite, quite a lot of time, that leasing cost will increase exponentially the more we use it. Okay. Now this is the pitfall with leasing um, that you need to consider. So just turn these off. So while we're talking, so this is a pitfall with with leasing. This one's running as well. So this is what you need to be careful of when leasing. Okay, so basically, the more you, the longer you are, uh, have it on your farm, and the more you use it, the more it's going to cost you. So what you'll what you'll be told, and what you might find in other videos, is to lease early in game, which is definitely true. But what you want to do is you want to lease sensibly so you want to lease your equipment um, over time because what will happen is when you're farming and you're going through your routine of harvesting crops planting, planting grain selling product um, if your daily profit right so the daily amount that you sell is less than your overheads so in terms of your leasing costs so what I mean by that is if you sell uh, $50,000 worth of product in one game day and your leasing costs are 51000 you've effectively made a $1,000 loss. So it's not sustainable in terms of farming. So you've just got to keep an eye on your leasing costs um, daily throughout the game. And then when your leasing costs start to sort of outstrip your daily profits or your daily earnings, that's where you need to start thinking about um, upgrading to used machinery. Um, and if not, if not um, sooner rather than later. So what I would recommend is if you've got your eyes on a certain piece of equipment, you're better off buying it used sooner rather than later if you can afford it. Because in the long run, it's going to save you money because you won't have to have those leasing costs. Because basically the leasing costs can become a bit of a trap because the more equipment that you put on, the more efficiency you try to get into your farm and the more you try to produce those leasing costs go up basically in parallel with that. So it basically negates any um, any profit gains you may make with your crop sales. So rule of thumb is use leasing to get you started. Um, when you've got enough money to purchase something that you know you're gonna stick with, I would go with a, a new option. So obviously you invest the money by new because you know you're not gonna get rid of it. It'll have lower, um, it will have lower maintenance requirements as it's new. As it gets older, in this case, it'll have more maintenance requirements. So that presents another problem down the track, which we'll talk about in a separate video. But basically, the, the goal is to buy brand new when you can afford it, but leverage leasing and used equipment as much as possible, especially in the early game, and always keep your eye out for the used vehicle sales because you pretty much can get up to you know 50 60 70 percent discount on on equipment so like this trailer for example 50 percent off the roper mass a uh, roper tiger 6s here so instead of paying half a million you can get it for two hundred fifty six thousand, and so on and so forth so if we just sleep for one more day and we'll see what used vehicles appear So every day in game, the used vehicles will cycle through and that'll happen every day, day in, day out as you play the game. So it's basically up to you as the player to keep an eye on it and see if you can't grab yourself a bargain. So let's have a look. So you can see now we've got some cultivators, we've got a forestry truck, we've got a sugarcane harvester and another cultivator. So pretty good discounts here. I mean, the cultivators, if you're looking for if you're looking for that equipment that's basically what I would be considering so let's go back over to our vehicles 
so hope that helps you out hope that gives you a bit more clarity in regards to leasing versus buying uh, versus the used equipment so once again it all comes down to personal preference but just something to consider as you move through the game and making sure you're making the most out of your, your budget and getting the most out of your farm equipment so thanks for watching this video guys leave a like below any comments let me know and i'll get back to you otherwise i will see you in the next one bye for now